Good morning. Thomas Jefferson, my hero. Third President of the United States, scientist, writer of the Declaration of Independence. He loved connecting. So at his home in Monticello, he held dinners that were scintillating. He had invite, was able to invite anyone in the world, and they showed. He had discussions under candlelight that created our country. So we took that idea when I was chairman of Monticello, and we said, let's hold more and more of those as if you're at Mr. Jefferson's table. We started running Jeffersonian dinners. People came. So we said, let's do those dinners, not just for Monticello, let's do them for a lot of other topics around the world. So we started running them in Senegal, talking about global health, in London, talking about anti-poverty initiatives, in New York, focusing on innovation and education, and in New Orleans, talking about music and bringing it back to kids across America. So we said, let's take that dinner format and start replicating it, and it's happened hundreds of times. So for any dinner, you need a recipe. And the first thing in the recipe for the Jeffersonian dinners is 12 to 15 people at a table. You add a common interest, education, global health, music, could be anything. But the deal is, is that instead of the individual discussions that most of us have at our dinners, I hate thousand-person dinners where you walk in, do small talk, hear three speeches, and then walk out and said, I wasted an evening. This isn't the deal. You go have whole table discussions. The rule is, is that you cannot talk to the person next to you. You talk to the entire table. The entire table listens. You have one conversation. You have one mind conversation. You generate better ideas when you do that. So then you add to it the public narrative strategy developed by Marshall Ganz at Kennedy School at Harvard, social organizing technique, and he focuses on me, us, and we. So the me part of it, let's go back, back one more. The me part of it is that you can focus on um, the story of self, the story of connecting to yourself and connecting to others. And so you open up with an opening question. For two minutes each, you go around the table, and for we had a dinner on innovation and education, and the opening question was, who's your favorite teacher? And we told the people that ahead of time that that's going to be the question. People sweated for days thinking about, who is my favorite teacher? And they told amazing stories. And so you wrote around the table, and you're connected already in the beginning. Then you mix and you moderate. So you mix the conversation by taking it from the personal to the us. The us is, what do we have in common? How do we connect? And so we talked about, in the education example, how do you bring teachers technology to help them? How do you make them so that they stay longer in job? What is a best teacher? So you talk about that. You mix, and you have to moderate. You have to have somebody saying, that person's talking too long, let's move it around. Let's make sure, make, make sure the discussion goes. And then you stop 15 minutes before the dinner is over, and then you take a pulse around the table. So how are we doing? Are we connecting? What would you like to follow up on? Who would you like to follow up with? We've done this in hundreds of nonprofits and raised hundreds of millions of dollars in connections because people came to these, they got connected to the idea, passionately connected to the concept, felt like they could add value to that nonprofit as opposed to just dumping money in it. We do it around ideas and problems that aren't even related to a nonprofit. I've done it at uh, University of Virginia last week. We had six of them where we had dinners with the Board of Visitors, with alums, with donors, and each one had an individual topic, and they all came back out with action plans for what to do next, what they'd like to do next, each individually 
connected to the passion. So results, this is the one I did for Berkeley College of Music two weeks ago. Live music in New York, Berkeley's coming to New York, let's solve that. And so each one of these people came back and said, I actually am interested in continuing connecting that one. If you're interested in the idea and the concept, go to Google Jeffersonian Dinners. You'll see a blog written by me and tell you how to do it. And if you uh, want to invite somebody in a silly coat like this, which I'm honoring Thomas Jefferson, um, invite me and I'll help you moderate. Thank you very much.